presenting a case of post traumatic cubitus valgus deformity here is a child of 6 years old presented to us with the deformity of the elbow since 2 years and which was progressive in nature and the child had a trauma 2 years ago for which they took the native bandage treatment this was a presentation the child had a cubitus valgus deformity of 40 degree and there was no tenderness the lateral condyle fragment was freely mobile and the ulnar nerve was intact there is no distal vascular deficit this is a pre-operative radiograph which shows a cubitus valgus deformity with the non-union of the distal and lateral condyle. So now how to manage it? So, so again if you go back to the x-rays. So faculty or anyone would like to ask any questions? No ulnar nerve involvement sir. Only the deformity was the concern for the parents full range of movement was there and the lateral condyle also was not fixed, it was moving with the elbow range of movement. So Vignesh, if you could enumerate the problems, you know, the, yesterday uh, Dr. Taral spoke about, you know, what you should look for yes, in a case of a non union lateral condyle. So in this case, what were the problems that were yes. present and what problems were not present? Yes. Here in this case, there was a cubitus valgus deformity, it was progressive in nature and non-union of the lateral condyle, but there is no instability or ulnar nerve involvement. Hence, we plan for a corrective osteotomy, MILS type, and in situ fixation of the lateral condyle of the humerus was planned in this case. So, we did a pre-operative planning in that humeral elbow and wrist angle was 45 degree. The level of osteotomy where the forearm axis meets the medial, condyle, medial column and the transverse osteotomy was made and initially the lateral translation of the distal fragment and the distal fragment was adduction of the distal fragment done to correct the deformity and fixation was done with the plate and the screw. So patient lateral position with paratricipital approach initially ulnar nerve was isolated and distal and humerus was exposed and uh, the transverse osteotomy was done and deformity corrected. Initially medial column fixed with a 2.7 mm uh, recon plate and then the range of movement was assessed and the uh, K-wire was fixed through the lateral condyle non-union fragment, range of movement was within the functional range. So, in situ fixation of the lateral condyle was done. This was the immediate post-operative radiograph. And child was kept in cast for six weeks. And after six weeks, active range of movement was started. And this is at six month follow-up. The deformity corrected and the non-union also showed union. And this is a clinical photograph of the child with a good functional range of elbow and full range of forearm movement. Full complete extension. So, in any case of lateral condyle non-union, so it depends on the three components, whether the deformity and ulnar nerve involvement and any in instability. If the deformity is not obvious, then we can observe. If it is prominent, then corrective osteotomy. If it is associated with the ulnar nerve palsy, then anterior transposition of ulnar nerve to be added. And if there is an instability, in situ fixation can be added to that. So here is study by Gupta et al. who reviewed 9 patients with cubitus valgus deformity treated with milch osteotomy and uh, ulnar nerve symptoms also improved and found excellent functional result. So the take home message from this case, the non lateral condyle non-union. First, we have to assess what are the problems in that case, like whether only deformity or ulnar nerve involvement or instability. We have to plan the treatment according to that. Milch osteotomy is an excellent option which gives complete correction of the deformity and prevention of tardy ulnar nerve palsy with the excellent functional outcome.